Hey guys, this is Shannon the iPhone guy with 5280 iPhone here in Denver, Colorado. I know a lot of you guys are having a problem with your iPhones after you mod the screen or your proximity sensor doesn't work and it'll drive me crazy. And right now, most of the solutions are called call lock, which is more of a workaround than a solution. Um, so anyway, I figured it out. Um, after putting on this very cool transparent iPhone screen, um, my proximity sensor didn't work and I wasn't going to go back to the call lock solution because it's more annoying to me than anything. I just want it to work like it's supposed to. So my proximity sensor didn't work and I'll just make a quick call. If you ever want to test it, just call 611. That's the best thing to do um, because that's just a free call and it's not going to have anybody really answer it. It's just going to talk to you about your account. But as you can see, I have a custom front, and I will cover up my proximity sensor, and it actually works, where, whereas it didn't before. So how I fixed it was very simple, and hopefully my camera will show you. Look above the uh, earpiece right here, and hopefully you can see the black tape. Okay with two little holes cut out of it. Even if you can't see it that well, the concept still stays the same. And I'll explain to you what I did. It was basically, the reason it's not working is there's too much ambient light coming in with the aftermarket screens and it's making the infrared sensors not responsive. Basically the phone just says, hey, something's screwy, they don't work right, and it just disables them. What happens with the proximity sensor is one, there's two little squares. One side transmits an infrared signal and the other side receives it. So if there's nothing there, then it knows that, hey, I'm not up next to a face. But once, it, once there's a face there or another object, the signal bounces off and goes into the receiver and it knows, hey, something's there, I better shut the screen off. That's how a proximity sensor works on an iPhone, in case you were wondering. Okay. But that being said, what you need to do is take a little piece of electrical tape, a little square, and you need to put two tiny little holes in it that go over the sensors. You don't want to cover them up completely. Just take two, make two little squares, and I use an X-Acto knife over each sensor. You'll see them once you take your, your um, iPhone apart. You'll see the squares will remain on your phone. They don't come off with the screen. And then you make two tiny holes in it. Um, I'd say about roughly the size of a, a ballpoint pen, like two ballpoint pens put next to each other. So you want it not to be just too small, but you want it to be large enough to let a little bit of the light in. I sure wish there was a better way I could show you these. But you see that it looks sort of like a purple thing on my screen? That's one of the sensors. And the other one's like a black dot on the other side. And that's just a piece of black tape covering up the proximity sensor. So use that and you should be good. Uh, it might take a little bit of trial and error. I suggest when you take your phone apart, you don't put it solidly back together. Just put it together good enough to make a call. So obviously make sure you connect your antenna so you can make a call to test it. And, um, you know, of course, put all your ribbon cables back on there so everything works. You don't have to put in your vibrate motor and all that. Um, and you don't have to tighten down all the corner screws and all that until you're satisfied it works. Because you might have to go in there and tweak it a little bit. It only took me one time to do it. So hopefully it won't take you more than once to do it either. But just a piece of black tape, really small, a couple of holes over where you see the little proximity sensors are up here above your speaker your speaker and your phone there's two little squares as you'll see when you take your phone apart you want just a little light to get through to each one of those all right I hope this helps I'm sorry I couldn't make this a little bit more clear but hey it works and it's better than using the call lock thing but of course call lock's better than nothing so this is Shannon the iPhone guy here in Denver Colorado and uh, hope that you get your phone working and uh, rate comment subscribe and maybe I'll get inspired to give you some more tips and tricks. Peace.